Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to some more cleaning motivation. Today we are deep cleaning a few areas in my house that seriously need attention. And I'm also gonna show you my laundry routine and a new update in our laundry room as well. But I'm gonna be showing you how I deep clean our dishwasher, our washing machine, and then a few other things around the house like our doorways, our rugs, our kitchen hood, our kitchen units, and things like that so i hope you really enjoy this video if you do give it a big like and if you're new please subscribe and with all that said let's start with our downstairs washing machine. So as some of you know, our main washing machine is upstairs in the utility room, but we also included a washing machine downstairs in our pantry. And when they built our pantry, they made it so that the skirting board in front of it would come away in case we ever needed to change it or clean it like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the filter out. I've put a baking tray just under it to collect the water and this water stunk so so much. The main reason we use this washing machine though is for things like dog towels, tea towels, cloths, but I do end up washing a lot of shoes in this as well. So there was quite a lot of dirt in the filter. So I'm really glad I finally did this. I emptied the water, I've sprayed some product, and then I'm using my little like supersonic thing to really scrub inside the filter. And then I tried to like wash that area through with some soapy water and it actually did come up really nice and clean. So then I put the filter back, put that all away, and at least that bit is all done. But there's another bit that is actually a bit smelly in here, and it's this part. I'm gonna spray some product inside there and around as well. And then again, I'm gonna let that sit, wipe around the machine, and then go in with my Supersonic to really get all of that grime out of there um, and actually this came up really nicely so much disgusting stuff came out of here as you can see but I'm so glad that I finally did that and then with another cloth I'm washing the door um, some lime scale build up on there and then I'm gonna wash the skirting board and it sort of just magnetics back which is great um, but that is the washing machine all done Okay, so now I'm gonna go upstairs and do some laundry and it just made me think that I haven't shown you our new stairs which have just been done. So I will quickly show you them as we go upstairs. So as you can see, we've had the banisters changed and we've had a runner put on the stairs with black edging and we're so pleased with how it looks. Kiki thinks it's very comfortable, don't you? And then we've also had new carpeting put on the landing and it's made such a huge difference because now all the carpeting upstairs is the same. So I'll just take you over to the utility room. I know so many of you guys already know that we moved our utility room upstairs because it makes so much sense to me. I also wanted to show you that we've got some new prints upstairs in our laundry room. We've got one here which says Siri do my laundry which I thought was really cute and then one over here which is a laundry guide featuring all of the laundry symbols and what they actually mean. I actually included a whole page in my book about laundry symbols and some of you will know I'm an ambassador for Joy of Clean and their research shows that it's such a common problem it's one of the most searched things when it comes to laundry on YouTube so I've got this here I thought it was really cute anyway it shows you all the symbols for wash for the temperature you should wash at for how to dry an item how to treat an item and iron as well some of these laundry symbols are really self-explanatory whereas some are more difficult like I feel like these ones are obvious do not ring do not wash hand wash makes complete sense to me. Um, but then these ones here, like the more lines underneath the wash means like the more delicate it is. And then the little dots in temperature, basically the more dots, the hotter you can wash it. And that's also the same for ironing. So the more little dots on the iron means like the hotter you can iron it. So, you know, three means on high heat. And then when it comes to tumble dry, you basically want this symbol with a circle in the middle so that it's okay to tumble dry. Anything else basically means that you shouldn't tumble dry it. And then when it comes 
ones to treat. A triangle is bleach is okay, and then a circle like this is dry clean only. And while this is great, I also wanted to show you an incredible hack which makes life so easy. So I'm actually washing this dress today, which you may have seen me wearing on Instagram. I've worn it a few times and it's a very different material. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna wash it and also the easiest way to work out how to. So all you have to do is get the label on your garment like this and then with your iPhone, take a picture of the label and then go to the photo in your camera roll and swipe up on it like this and something will pop up that says laundry care. So if you click on that, then it will show you how to look after this garment. So washing, very mild process. So to me, that means delicate at a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius. Do not bleach, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, do not iron. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wash it on the delicate cycle on 30. And yeah, how easy was that? And for this, I'm going to use the Spring Awakening Dream Team. This is such a classic scent and one that I will always love. It's so fresh and energizing. It's a bit citrusy and yeah, it's just a great one. So I'm gonna start out with a bold all-in-one pod. This comes with a unique three chamber design that features a brilliant cleaning detergent with built-in fabric softener as well. So I'm gonna chuck that into the drum followed by a capful of the Lenore scent boosters in Spring Awakening. This will give a boost of spring awakening freshness for up to 12 weeks so i'm going to put that into the drum followed by my dress and then i'm also going to add the lenore outdoorable this has unique solar dry technology which gives freshness as if you've dried your clothes outside even if you've had to dry them inside, which in the UK, let's face it, that's quite handy. And as I mentioned, I'm washing it on the delicate cycle at 30 degrees, and that is perfect for this garment. And then as if by magic, by the power of editing, it is all done. So this is the dress coming out all clean. It smells wonderful, like spring awakening. So I'm just gonna hang this on a hanger and let this dry just here, but that is all done. And now we're gonna go downstairs and tackle something that I am dreading, and it is our dishwasher. I've been meaning to do this for ages, so today is the day. And first up, I'm going to take apart the filter at the bottom of our dishwasher, all of these pieces come out, which is great. They're covered in sludge though, which is pretty gross, but I'm going to give them a really good clean with some hot soapy water. This filter was just really grimy and yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this though because I know our dishwasher is going to be able to clean better once I've actually done this. And there's a sprinkler part, which I'll show you in a minute, which was actually quite clogged and pieces like this we're coming out. Sorry guys, I know this is a bit gross, but I soaked um, that red piece because I really felt like there was still more in there. I'm going to clean this as well. And I took anything out of the filter, like there was a few peas and things like that. And then this is it. I used a toothpick to kind of pull all the bits out. And then with this sprinkler bit, I kind of went through all of it uh, with a toothpick. I ran water through to see which ones were working and then any that weren't, I really like unclogged it and then I actually washed the dishwasher itself. I got all the yucky water and stuff out of the filter uh, and then I put everything back and that is all done. And then of course, if you want to, you can also run a cycle with um, like a dishwasher cleaner, um, but that is all done. And now I know this one is a bit random, but it has been getting to me a little bit how dirty this door frame is. So I have this really thin little cleaning brush. So first up, I went in with that to loosen all of the dirt, get some leaves out as well. And then I used my vacuum to get as much of the loose dirt out. And then I'm going to give it all a really good scrub. And to be honest, this only took about 10 minutes, but I'm so pleased that I've finally done it because it was kind of two years 
of build up from mud, dirt, things like that. And it looked so nice and clean once I'd done it. I'm also gonna clean the rug in the playroom. We have ruggable rugs, which basically have a thin top layer, which stick onto a base. So they're actually quite thin and you can just about fit them in your washing machine. And this one I noticed there's a few stains, there's some slime, a few like food marks and stuff. I don't really let the kids have snacks in the living room. But I'm definitely more chill if they're in the playroom. So anyway, I'm gonna put this into the washing machine. It fits because we have a 12 kg washing machine and then I'm gonna hang it out to dry. I would say though, if you have rugs like this, you really do have to wait for a really hot and sunny day because it just takes quite long to dry if it's not like really nice and hot. Uh, but today it actually was. And now I'm also going to clean our cooker hood. Love the way that this looks, but over time it can develop a bit of a greasy film over it where we're cooking all of the time. So this is how I clean it. I actually use my flash speed mop and wipes to do this. It does a great job and it means I can reach all the way up to the ceiling. I'm actually gonna dry this though with a paper towel as well. Um, but yeah, it makes it so much easier. And I actually do the same technique for the tops of our kitchen cupboards as well. I find this works so well. And of course I only do this really when I am deep cleaning. So say every six months or once a year. This year I actually didn't end up spring cleaning at all. I felt like it was a really busy time like when my book came out and stuff. So I'm so pleased to do this today. And I did all the skirting as well at the top you know, which touches the ceiling that was actually really dusty and this unit as well really needed it. And this is what came off of that unit. I changed for a new wipe just for that one. So you can see that there's quite a lot of dust coming off. And I also wanted to dust this hallway light. We put the light up before we started renovating and painting the walls. So it just was quite dusty. And so was the light bulbs and fixtures inside. So I've dusted that and this mirror in the hallway way as well and then I also wanted to show you guys that recently Matt cleared out our garage I was actually working in London for two days and he did this on one of the days so when I came back it was like a complete surprise basically I'm so embarrassed to show you guys this because our house is always so tidy but this is probably why our house is always so tidy because we can put so much stuff in this garage which is great um but it's definitely built up because we've been renovating for the past year. There's furniture we've hung on to, which we don't need to. There are boxes that we've hung on to that he could now break down and get rid of. And we just needed a really good clear out, especially now that it's summer. I'm finding I'm going into the garage, you know, to get bikes, to get picnic baskets, to get the slip and slide, to get so many things. And it's been really difficult and dangerous to find stuff. So Matt just spent a few hours clearing it all out and then he went to the tip with a load of like boxes and stuff. We've got a treadmill in the garage. We took it out of our gym, but we're not quite ready to get rid of it. He swept all of the floor, put the bikes back, which are very accessible now, the lawnmower as well. And then, yeah, he tried to get as much dust and stuff out of there that he could. I think eventually we would love to redo this. But for now, it is looking so much better. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.